Hello and welcome to Smoking Underground. I'm Devin and this is Gary. <clears throat> Hola. Glad y'all uh, joined us today. Indeed, Areno. Remember, we are on both Facebook and YouTube. Feel free to comment. We'd love to read them. Uh, today, we are here. This is a Thursday, and we're having a grand old time, aren't we? Yes, we are, and uh, we're excited today uh, because we get to uh, we get to actually uh, utilize some of our equipment around here. I think to uh, other than hearing our draft voices, uh, and uh, we uh, we're we're kind of excited about that. So I'm glad you had a chance to join us today. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. It's going to be a good show. Yeah. How you um, doing, Gary? I'm great. I'm outstanding. Doing very well. Today was a good day. And uh, all went well. The, the weather's stinking cold down here. And for a fat guy, I am not a cold weather guy. <laughs> I'm not at all. I want to clarify that right now. No. Uh, if I had my choice, I'd live down at Key, Key West or Hawaii. <laughs> not so. me, man. I'm, I'm, I love the cold myself. No. Uh, you can send me in much cold as you can possibly get it, and I'll take it. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. No, you can have mine. I don't mind at all. I've got like three different coats, and they're all coming coming out on me uh, below 50 degrees. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, and then we're also joined by uh, Mr. John Viviani. Viviani. How are Viviani. You? I'm just John. Sitting, over, sitting over here in my little cubicle. Joe B. We'll have a camera for yeah. you eventually. Yes, eventually. We're going to see your pretty face and your pretty right. hair too, John. Yes, we are. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's true. Uh, you're, you're teasing the crowd yeah. out there. Yes, yeah, oh. see what I'm saying? Well, there your you voice are. is very. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's something. Nasally. Yeah. Uh, Nasal. yeah. 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 Uh, hey, it works for Fran Dresser. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, your uh, voice over rascal, you. I hear you. Man. Oh, boy. So uh, uh, we've got some interesting stuff happening today. If you didn't already see the L title O. Uh, that's a uh, Spanglish for title. By the mm. way, Gary. And he's working on that too. On top of that, Devin is. Yeah. So, so uh, we got a special guest today, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, and uh, very excited about it uh, today too. Would you like to introduce them, sir? Today on Smoking Underground, we are interviewing the amazing, the talented, <laughs> the abnormally tall, Mr. Eric <laughs> Parkinson from my father, Cigars. Yay. Yay. All right. Gentlemen, how are you? <laughs> thank, thank you for that, that wonderful introduction. You like that? Yeah, That's a, yeah. Eric, I, only the best for you, buddy. Only the best. And I, uh, honored and humbled to be here. Um, so thank you. Thank you for the applause and thank you for the brand new word, uh, interviewing that you use, Devin. Um, that there, was hey. that was yeah. amazing. Um, anyway, happy to be here. Uh, happy Thursday to you both. Um, happy Thursday. Indeed. We got one more day, baby. And it's home free. We get furlough. So <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's a good day. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah. Before, before we start gents, um, just a couple points of, of, of business, if that's okay. Okay. Um, so John obviously didn't forward my contractual rider to you, Devin. Uh, but on the April 1st episode, um, when you were talking about the monthly packs that Cigars and More and Vitola's oh, doing, uh, <laughs> just a just a small helpful tip, right? Because some you know sometimes English is hard and, and Spanish can be more <laughs> difficult. Uh, you absolutely butchered Florida Las Antillas. Um, <laughs> Florida Los Antillas. He couldn't even get interviewing right. <laughs> so just ma maybe before somebody else comes on, you might want to practice. Uh, hey, 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 Eric, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to throw this at you. Hey, Devin, what's your degree in? English. <laughs> Thank you. That's all right. Good That's thing all the I name of that say. cigar isn't English. <laughs> That's all I got to say. English. English. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe just for the sake of, of everybody, uh, Devin, you can, you can refer to this cigar as the FDLA. Um, I'm assuming you can say letters. Uh, F 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. You're you're a quarter of the way there, man. I believe. I believe in you. Uh, law. <laughs> Fe law. He's a, he's almost got it. You give him a week, you'll have that nailed. Fila. It's the Fila cigar. That, look. It, obviously, I'm joking, and and I know. you know, but most most companies. It, Sometimes their their brands are hard to produce. I mean, Gavin gets it, or, or uh, I'm sorry, Melvin, uh, Devin, right? Devin, Devin, yeah, gets yeah. yeah, easy. easy. Uh, Burn. Well, we got this. Uh, man, this is a great start, isn't it? It's, it's awesome. outstanding. I tell I tell you, man, we couldn't. Uh, I mean, welcome, Eric. I can't tell you how welcome you are. Oh, my God, awesome. thank you, Gary. Um, it, Devin's dead to me, by the way, for the rest of the. <laughs> So, you're talking about the same. You're talking about the same guy who, who come up with the word "snai easing." So I mean, easing. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's okay though. Yeah. You know which we'll, did we'll, you? Whoo, we'll talk boy. about that later. Yeah, um, there it is. So, it's a little messy, but it's okay. <laughs> anyway, oh, and then somebody comments, uh, "Devin, you brighten my day." So. Oh, there it is. Uh, that's oh, there you know what? Is. That's a beautiful thing. And, there it is. Uh, it? Well, he sure. pays only the best for that, so it's okay. <laughs> You know, so I'm just saying. Oh, Lord. So uh, what are we smoking today? Oh, yeah. What are we smoking today, Devin? Go ahead and pronounce it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wow me. <laughs> this show, is show the, me uh, your my father, ma'am. Capabilities. <laughs> the ma'am, right? Uh, Mom? He got that part right, Eric. He got it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so that's what we're smoking today. It is uh, a very good cigar from what I've heard. Indeed. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so uh, the Flor de las Antillas. Flor de las Antillas. <laughs> MAM 13 is a regional exclusive uh, that we did based on our 2012 release, uh, the Flor de las Antillas. Um, we did it for about five stores in the Southeast region uh, who were all coincidentally TAA members, uh, which is the Tobacconist Association of America. Uh, and unlike our regular production, uh, FDLA, mm -hmm. uh, we are smoking a round cigar versus a soft box press. Mm, gotcha. um, it's a six by 48. I would call it a Corona Gorda. Um you could call it a Toro. Uh, you, you'd call it delicious, uh, as far as I'm concerned. There uh, we go. But are you guys lighting up? Uh, we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah, I can't wait any longer. Yeah. You, you've yeah, gone over it. So yeah, much. We're, sorry, we're, I was a little wordy. Yeah. Wordy. That, no, that's fine. No, that's no. It's your. It's your. <laughs> no, you can be wordy. Uh, that uh, that that will shut Devin up. So your, you your go right ahead. Is correct though. You go right ahead. You're full of truthiness. <laughs> Which actually is a word. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, uh, so the question I always uh, go with people uh, with when I look at a cigar, because I'm kind of mm -hmm. in that artistic realm, is the band. Okay. Uh, this one is incredibly artistic. Beautiful. Honestly, it looks beautiful band. I mean, I'd love to see a giant poster of it personally. Right. Uh, do you have any insight on the, uh, the band for it? Yes. Yeah. Could you tell us about oh, it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Flor de los Antillas. Uh, th this artwork is from a, uh, a, a an old brand that we uh, that we now own. My father cigar zones, mm -hmm. uh, and the original artwork is from the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we sort of pride ourselves on is we're a we're a fully integrated manufacturer. Um, which means we own the fields, we own the tobacco, we age the cigars, uh, we age the tobacco, roll the cigars. Um, but our artwork uh, is done by Pepin Garcia's nephew, uh, Alcides Montenegro. Mm. So um, whether it's brand new artwork, uh, like for the, the My Father logo, or if it's uh, old trademarked artwork that, you know, old Cuban artwork that we own, uh, Alcides um redesigns it freshens up the colors um sort of brings it into the family of uh my father's cigars right um so it was th th this was something that was existing artwork that he um basically started from the ground up and 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 uh 
and redesigned. Um, you can't really tell on the band, but uh, if you look at the box, there's a reason why it's not a poster because it's not PG rated. Yeah, I was no actually uh, it's funny because I was about to mention that's one of the main reasons why Devin wants it as a poster because it's got naked women on the front. So I mean I'm well, you know, he's a he's he's a gamer, right? So Yeah, he's a baller, man. He is. <laughs> oh, he is. So big time. On the other note, and 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 I, I'm serious uh, about this, is the um I know you're not you don't typically judge a cigar by the band, obviously, because it's about the cigar, but for me, I always do look at it like what's the quality of the band, the quality of the paper they used, all that kind of stuff, because it's all presentation, right? Mm. So sure. I am I'm thoroughly impressed with this one. It it looks like it's it's elegantly done and it's beautiful. Thank you. Um, you know, and 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 credit to that uh, obviously is is Alcides with his artwork, but uh, we partner with uh, Albert Montserrat of Cigar Rings SA, and he he produces all of uh, uh -huh. all of the paper uh, for our our cigars you know we yeah. while we are vertically integrated uh, we don't do printing and uh, <clears throat> you know what Albert does with offset printing and I think it's a it's at least a seven stage process you know with embossing and and gold dust and stuff like that um, Albert is second to none just a beautiful yeah. human being and a beautiful company and you can uh, tell we're, we're, we're very fortunate that, uh, that we, that we work with them. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing. Uh, it's, it's just impressive. Honestly, it, it adds, you. you have this amazing cigar and then you have this amazing, not just the artwork, but I'm saying like the whole band as itself, the whole presentation is exquisite. I, 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 I really pay attention to that kind of stuff. As, as uh, well, you know, th there's, there's two ways to think about it, right? Like there's, there's the axiom that you eat with your eyes first, right? Like, right, so, right. Uh, you know, I, I firmly believe <laughs> you smoke with your eyes first and yeah. a, a beautiful box and a beautiful band um, will absolutely draw your eye to that cigar. Now it's up to the, it's up to the tobacco underneath, right? To, right. to sell it a second time. Um, <laughs> yep. You know, or, or the other way uh, to go is, is the Tatawahe route where, mm -hmm. where, it's beautiful tobacco. Spoiler alert. You guys know that we grow. Yeah. And, oh, okay. Um, right. Right. You, you know, yeah. But, <laughs> uh, but um, you know, you don't smoke the band, right? Like it, right. It, 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 it's, it's one of those things that uh, it, 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 that way works for, for, for Pete's uh, company. And sure. uh, this way, this way works for, for us. And, and we, we like to be a little bit more elegant in the presentation of our cigars. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, and, you know, I think it, uh, I think it helps. Thank you for, uh, and again, I'm using the Royal we, by the way, like I, have, I'm a facilitator. I, I, I'm yeah. blessed to work for the company. So I will be speaking on, you know, on their behalf. Absolutely. Uh, and that's the, the thing I point out is like, I got a buddy of mine, Daniel, he, he has a uh, cigar journal. And so like, he keeps the bands, tapes them in there and writes notes on them. And like, sure, sure. This is yeah, definitely I, a band you'd want to keep. Well, thank you. It, yeah, no, I, I, like, look, we beautiful artwork. I don't know if you guys saw it. So I'm my, uh, Oh yeah. Very my, nice. our, our, there our you go. May, makes the epoxy resin uh, tumblers. So yeah. like it, it's pretty enough to use again so yeah, that's nice i want one of those yeah that's nice right there yeah <laughs> that's cool now i i have to ask is that is that bands that you saved in order to do that yeah uh, yes sir it is yep. so you yeah. smoked all those then right yeah i mean that's i mean it's a 30 ounce tumbler so that's like what two days of smoking so oh you know. man <laughs> at least at least yeah that's a that's a that's a uh that's a super bowl when you're yeah. when you're uh, when your team's losing yeah you'll go through that by all means yeah <laughs> No, we, uh, I, will, we, yeah. I, I will. Uh, I will. I uh, will alert you of this right here. And of course, I have to. Uh, I have to sort of take a off road here, in a sense, talking about the bands and their and their beauty. Okay. I will let you know that uh, you know in, in the years that I've been in the industry, and of course, uh, ha have noticed a lot of the time <clears throat> you'll get couples that come in the humidor and they come in and they walk around. 
And so the guy is looking at what he, what he wants to taste. Okay. Sure. Obviously. Sure. Right. So he's yeah. trying to inquire with me or whoever, or maybe he's read some magazines or whatever it may be. And he's looking for these particular cigars. And so guess who else is looking at the bands? Oh, okay. 100%. Right. Right. 100%. The bands and the boxes, sure. man, if it's got a pretty band on it or if it's a pretty box that he better get it, he better get it. No, look, yeah. look yeah. women are yeah. in charge of 80% of all household purchases, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so, yeah. um, no, yeah. I, I, yeah. I absolutely. Again, and no, no disrespect meant to, to any other mm -mm. company. Um, well. you, you know, that, that band and box is going to sell the, sell the cigar once. And, right. uh, right. you know, I, I, Hopefully the tobacco lives up to uh, the elegance of the band. Well, it's uh, you know, it, it comes with uh, like, you know, if you will, another, another company where, you know, that I would, I would toss out there that has, you know, very high end, uh, but they, they have a basic band, but it's very elegant, you know, and uh, but you know, like them, you guys live up to the task. Um, and of course we're going to, sort of elaborate a little bit on that. I've got many questions for you. I'm not going to, I can't ask them all. Okay. Um, but at the same time, um, uh, I will uh, sort of just, just touch on, you know, uh, Garcia's footsteps and where he come from and what he has done and the leaps and bounds in which he has conquered and where he was and where he is today is amazing. Uh, to say the least, it's staggering. Um, it's, it's um, my goodness gracious. It's it's overwhelming to hear uh, some of the stuff in which he's done. And we're talking about a guy who made it an American market, if you will. Yeah. Okay, a worldwide market that knows. Well, I'm sure he knows a little bit of English now, but who knew nothing, no English, no anything back then. All he knew was to blend and roll. And that was all he knew. That was it. So it's very amazing of what kind of um, uh, foundation he came from in order to create what he has done today. And it shows. It shows in the artwork. It shows in the quality of the tobacco. It shows in the cigar. It shows in the taste. It shows everything. So uh, for, for Pepin to do what he has done uh, has been tremendous. And, and can you elaborate just a little bit on that? No, look, it, it, it's it's humbling to to have been along uh, on this journey. You know, I I, I remember I, I I've been in every part of this industry, right? I I was a uh, I've been a cigar smoker for over thirty years, but you know, I I remember smoking a uh, a Dom de Pin Blue. Mm, yes, you know, you know, back in two thousand and three, mm -hmm. uh, I I then went on to own my own cigar store uh in 2005 and and worked with the company then and, and oh, to nice. see where they were then you know in my humidor the footprint to see where we are now um right. you know look he, he's he's a he's a gentleman who was born you know 70 years ago in Baez Cuba uh went to work for uh his uncle uh in a in his uncle's cigar uh factory at the age of 11 um and fr from there has become a master roller a master blender uh a teacher um hell he's he's the the last vanguard of cuba right mm, uh, i'll agree and you know cu coming over um to the united states uh and in, in 2001 and then starting his his own company in 2003 uh, like what an american success story right mm -hmm. like w yeah. what a not rags to riches but like s somebody who has the drive and the the grit to persevere and have a marathon view vision um of of what he can do and then do it mm -hmm. right yeah. like mm -hmm. holy mackerel Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're a smaller company. 
right? We're not a juggernaut. Um, and, and we're a company that focuses on uh, quality uh, every day over quantity. And look, I think I think the best thing I can say about the Garcias um, that rings true when you smoke their cigars uh, is that they get up every day and try to do a better job today than they did yesterday. And, and I would I, I would like to add to that too, if you don't mind, uh, to say that um, um, in that particular company, there they're not trying. The quality sort of speaks for itself, uh, in a sense of um, the the leaps and bounds in which they've done, because they they didn't try to go from, um, if you will, a three dollar smoke up to a thirty dollar smoke to try to to try to get their name out there and say, Oh, this is, you know, this is a rarity and all this other kind of stuff. No, it was a bit by bit, uh, all, as you say, again, quality that kept going. And now he has made a quality fine cigar, actually very respectable in the industry. And, and, and it shows it. The factory is beautiful, by the way, the factory is phenomenal. It's, it's outstanding. Um, I, I, I guess I'm probably, I'm going to spill the beans a little bit, y'all. I'm sorry. But I'm probably the only guy who's been in this industry who has a picture of his factory in my bedroom. That's, Old of that's, you to assume that, Gary. There you are. So I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yeah. There you are. See? There you go. So, but but the, the fact is, is that y- you can tell that he didn't do any frou-frou stuff. He didn't do any, he didn't try to dress it up and try to make it, uh, you know, and, and you taste the cigar and goes, well, yeah, well, yeah, it's okay. The box is nice and the, the bands. No, none of that. No, yeah. this was, this was one, two, three, and all of it was solid. All of it was good. So I, I, I commend him with that right there. And that's one of the main reasons why it's taken up room in five of our stores yeah and it's going to stay there it's not going anywhere anywhere that particular um uh, brand has been uh a is is almost a cornerstone if you will but it it has made its own way and pepin and jaime now uh obviously you know of course uh, we'll we'll get to the my father Mm -hmm. stuff here in just a minute but yeah all of that right there has been uh, exquisitely done by the work ethic, if I can, you know, by Pepe and Garcia himself. And, and I can't, I can't, uh, uh, award him enough. Uh, there's too many accolades for me, you know, well, I, he, <laughs> really he, is, he, really is. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. you know, I, I, I would say the only way to build a house is to start with a foundation, mm. right? Uh, and, and there, there's one person, uh, who, I would also like to mention, and, and that's Pepin's wife, uh, Maria. Uh, you know, it's it's often said that uh, Pepin is the head of the company, and and where he looks, uh, you know, the company goes. But uh, M- Maria is the hand that turns the neck. Yes, you, yeah. you know, yeah. and, she, and she better be. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, with, with, without Maria, like of, of of all the hands that that touch our tobacco to get it to you know to you guys and 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 into consumers' hands, um, Maria's hands around Pepin's shoulders are the most important pair. So, um, you, you know, it, it uh, look, it, it, it's it's a family-owned company. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm blessed and, and humbled to, to be able to work, uh, with them every day. So. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, it has definitely been, uh, it's, it's definitely been a watch of success or, or an own look of success for him. It really has. I'm, I remember the time that I, um, I was at a, uh, a show with him there and he was rolling mm-hmm. and, uh, and that was, and now today, Back then, that was hey, cool. It's it's roller because this was oh golly, let me see, Eric, close probably close to twenty years ago, and yeah. uh, and he was and he was trying to get his brand out there, and of course everybody was smoking him, going golly, these are good. But the 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 fact is is that back then you saw, and if I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a comparison here, y'all sort of hang with me here. 
All right. But back then you saw uh, Richard Petty in a stock car. Okay. That's, that's what you saw. You mm-hmm. saw Richard Petty in a stock car. I mean, that's the best way I can put it. And now today you see pretty much the king of Nicaragua, pretty much. You know, I mean, I'm going to say he's he's up there. He's up there right. dramatically. I mean, between him and 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 Pete Johnson's success, both of those. I mean, you. I mean, what else? What else can you say? What else? I, you know? I, look, you know, it, sometimes the universe provides, right? And mm. and and, mm-hmm. and and Pete, you know, found Pepin. Um, you know, Pete found the guy that uh, was able to replicate uh, the cigar that Pete had in his head, right? I mean, at the you know, after talking with them at the Grand Havana room, um, you know, so our, our two companies are intrinsically linked, um, you know, but if it wasn't for the success of, of Tatuaje, um, you know, I don't think we'd have the success, uh, or nearly the success that, that we do right now. I mean, it, mm. it's, yeah. yeah, it was a marriage made, wasn't it? It really was hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what, now, uh, what do you guys, what, so sorry, I know you, you, Gary, you're drinking a water, right? Or have a water. What are, what well, are you drinking? Devin? Oh, he's got the good stuff. Today's pairing is uh maker Mark 46. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Cheers. Uh, yeah. Cheers. Cigars. There you are. Interviews and right there. conversation. There you are. Here we go. Outstanding. Yeah. yeah I'm always big about, uh, what to pair with it. When it comes to libations and whatnot, and uh, as I said last week, and I tell everybody, it's a, uh, and you'll understand this. You you smell the cigar, or it's lit. Then you go over and you kind of check the bottles. Which one? Which one feels right? Which one smells right? What goes with this? Sure. And this one had a very nice, smooth smell to it. Um, you know, the sun-grown kind of feel and mm. all that. And then I went. It needs. Something to go with it that's got a bit of a bite on the mid end. Very good. And it, it fits perfectly. Very good. Um, I could even see, now I wouldn't say as something like a honey whiskey probably wouldn't fit with this very well, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try it. Mm. Um, mm. I would even dare to say that a, uh, a scotch would go really well with this as well. Right. Yeah. So you're not going to, you're not going to do the grapey co that you did last week with it. You're not going <laughs> to do that. No. Well, it's got no hints of pitted prunes, so we're good. <laughs> but no pitted uh, prunes. Well, it, but at least it, you got to say it this episode. Yeah. Right? Every like, episode. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's a success it. within I, himself. Like, I'm always God. watching. It's a real fan right there. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I'm surprised he ain't put I'm, – I'm surprised he hadn't put waffle syrup on it right now, Eric. He's 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 doing <laughs> good. <did>. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, I, I don't want to – I don't – I don't want to hog the show, but I mean, I've got a ton of questions, but please feel free to. So uh, my, my question for you now, Mr. Uh, Eric, is uh, what area do you typically meander around? So my, my wife and I cover eight states in the southeast for the company. And, wow. And uh, we, we split North Carolina in half. Um, but so I'm, I'm half of North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, when's the next time you think we'll see you over here? Well, spoiler alert. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm flying into uh, Alabama tomorrow, so you never know. I might oh, just show up. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's, okay. Oh, man. Man, that stinks. Oh, we would like to have you one day too late, man. Right. I know. I know. Oh, gone, dude. Um, but, uh, well, you know, I'm, you know, I'm around. I just, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going I, to do my best to miss Devin, uh, but I'll come and hang out with you, Gary. That's okay. He'll leave his dictionary here for you. You can read through it. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad you finished that dictionary. word. Yeah. yeah, that's right. It's only one page, but it's still big. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's right. Yeah. Um, it just says uh, drink beer and try to pronounce words. Uh, uh. Um, what do you, uh, what do you, what are you sipping along with yours over there, Eric? What do you, what do you so, got in that big cup? Uh, it could be water. It could be tequila. Well, could I guess be vodka. No. <laughs> no uh, so I'm uh, I'm doing water and uh, Cuban coffee right now. Are you? Oh, oh, nice. Good for nice. you, dude. 
Yeah. Right. Man, that's nice. Oh, the coffee. Cuban coffee. Mm. Man, I miss that. The sandwiches too. Oh my. <laughs> um, hey, can you real quick? Because uh, I, I know we're running real short on time. Uh, can you just sort of do an overview of the My Father series compared to, of course, what uh, Pepin come out with his brand? Uh, can you can you sort of do a uh, show us the bridge of where the My Father come from, the the name? Sure. Yeah. Sure. So, you know, when we started the company, we 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 introduced the, the lines as the Don Pepin Garcia stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We have the blue label, the series JJ, and the black label, the Cuban classic. Delicious. And uh and the Vegas Cubana, sorry. Uh that sort of the original four. Mm -hmm. Um and, and those were more, you know, obviously because Pepin coming directly from Cuba, uh, those were hit sort of his homages to what true Cuban cigars should be, right? Like had Castro not taken over and all the other stuff with the the re revolution. Um, the series JJ uh, was the first time that uh, Jaime helped blend a cigar. Um, Pepin, Pepin is a nickname. Uh, his first name is Jose. So the series JJ is for Jose and Jaime. Oh, nice. um, so we have, we have since responded to the American market, right. For a little bit fuller bodied stuff, not necessarily aggressively <laughs> spiced, but uh, stuff with a little bit more zing to it. Right. Yeah. And uh, once we had our factory up and running, Jaime thought it would be a great idea uh, to blend a cigar in secret in homage to Pepin, to his dad. And uh, Pepin, it has an incredible work ethic in, you know, in the factory every day, uh, mm -hmm. you know, go going to every farm and visiting fields every week, mm -hmm. um, talking, talking with all, you know, the employees, whether it's the, the, the people out in the fields or the people in the factories. And one day Pepin noticed that there was tobacco missing and uh, Jaime knew oh. why, oh. Uh, but couldn't tell his dad. So he just did what every son would do while trying to keep a secret mm. and say, I'm a, I'm a, I'll take care of it. Don't, you know, don't worry about it. Right. Uh, as he was trying to come up with this blend and um, a couple more weeks went by and, Pepin noticed that there was still tobacco missing and um, without getting into too many details, uh, Pepin told his son to take care of the problem or he'd fire everybody in the uh, factory and start over again. Oh so, um, well, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so, Jaime had to give up the uh, give up the secret and to told Pepin that he was blending a cigar uh, in honor of him. So Pepin wanted to smoke it and uh, liked it and asked what the uh, you know what 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 were we going to call it? What was the brand name going to be? And 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 Jaime said, "My father," because it's it's for you. And at you know at that time. Um, the company name was El Rey de los Habanos, which is the king of the Habano cigars. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually changed the name of the company uh, to to My Father Cigars. It was a easier to say. I mean, Devin Devin gets it. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely, hundred percent. So, um, so yeah, that that was sort of Jaime's first blend, and you know, subsequently, you know, the next year we. Uh, Pepin blended a cigar uh, in honor of, of his father, um, which became the Le Bijou 1922, mm -hmm. which is the year that Pepin's dad was born. Wow. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, look, both both Jaime and Pepin are amazing blenders. Um, but even as good as, and, and good is not the right word. Right, no, no. Touche. E Touche. Even as even as good as Jaime is, nothing's going out of that factory without Dad smoking it. Mm -hmm. Um, just purely for the respect and 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 honestly, his his wealth of knowledge. You, you know, I mean, um, 
look, we don't we don't ever uh, set out to create the world's mildest cigar or the world's strongest cigar. We we want the tobacco to tell a story, right? Yeah, and, and, and that story is going to be told through complexity and balance, and it might be told with a little bit of spice, or it might be told with, a, you know, a little bit more. So, um, you know, at, at this point, with with all of the blends and brands under the My Father umbrella, uh, to include Fonseca as of last year, um, you know we go from milder to fuller bodied and everything in between. Um, so, and, and honestly, every, uh, every price point in between, you know, the, the bulk of our stuff is, is accessible to a daily smoker, uh, you know, and every once in a while we do some really neat stuff that uh, is available for in limited quantities for, for celebratory, uh, right. you know, smoking, whether it's a birthday an anniversary or uh, Christmas, stuff like that. So, Um, but, but again, you know, what, what we do is grow tobacco and process it. Um, and I, I think we, I think we do it exceptionally well. Uh, Oh, a hundred percent agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's an understatement. Um, one, one more question on my behalf and then after that, I'll shut up. (laughs) But, but, uh, but, yeah, I think we're running a little short on time, but let me, uh, let me squeeze this in here. There's one thing I never knew about the cigar that I've been wanting to ask you about. Okay. This particular brand that we're smoking right now is the M A M ma'am. Mm-hmm. What, what do you know what that means? Why? Yep. Oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot there, man. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Right. He, he just knows what it means. Do you? Yeah, I think you answered that question. We're going totally logic right. now. Okay, yeah. yeah, we're on. Okay, good. See, good seeing you there. We're off now. Yeah. So, I this cigar was created for the southeastern region before I was on the southeastern region. Uh, from what I understand, it it stands for Mid Atlantic Mafia. Mm. Mm. There really? we go. Is there a story behind that? I would assume. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. Sh- I'm, sh- I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure there is. Um, oh boy. I'm sure. I'm sure there is. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. I'm sure there is. Ask Harris. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, trust me. We're, we're going to inundate him by all means. Yeah. You have any questions get... there, Mister John? Yeah. No, I just do my little sales pitch, and that you know, the, I can't. Eric has said that the ma'am has very limited availability, but it is in all five of our shops. And very, very rarely are we out of stock of these. Indeed. Harris gets them, I want to say 50 boxes at a time or something, yeah. it seems anymore. Cause mm-hmm. when the box right. comes in, there's a it's lot gone. of boxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and this, it, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm not going to even try to pronounce it because I have a horrible time with the English language. Just ask my um, girlfriend who has a master's in English. Th- this is a derivative of the cigar of the year of 2013. So mm-hmm. it is, you know, there is a little bit of a reputation behind this cigar too. Mm. Correct. C- correct. So yeah, cigar of the year to, for 2012, which was awarded oh. in 2013. Yeah. So we, we, we brought out, um, so we brought out Flor de las Antillas originally, uh, I think about in March of 2012 for a store event um and we released it uh, nationwide available to everybody i think in april of that year uh and then obviously uh the the Jan- january of 13 rolled around is, is when um cigar aficionado magazine uh did their top 25 and we were um we, we were cigar of the year that year with a 96 out of a hundred rating. So it was uh, an incredible honor, All right? An incredible honor. Yeah. And you know, for us, it was interesting uh, just r- real quick. If, if, if we do have time, um, the, the farm where um, Florida Las Antillas comes from is outside. So our factory is in Esteli, Nicaragua and the bulk of our farm sort of radiate um, in and around Esteli. Um, we, we acquired, uh, a farm in the Namanhe region, uh, of Nicaragua, which is in the next 
I don't know. I, I, I meant to look it up. I don't know if it's a town or if they do counties uh, called uh, Hinotega. And um, that farm that we that we acquired uh, had lain dormant uh, since the 80s, I believe. Uh, nothing had, had grown there. And previous to that, it was a um, it was a cigarette tobacco farm. So, so cigar tobacco hadn't been grown um, in that land. And that was actually the first uh, first farm that we were able to acquire uh, our own wrapper. Uh, so Florida Los Santias is, is, was our first 100% our tobacco cigar. So, mm. um, mm. just, mm. just, a, you, you know, again, sometimes the universe provides, right. Mm. right. And, uh, right. so, and, and that, that farm in, in Nam and he has, has grown in size and, you know, we, we raise cattle there and we have a, a shade growing wrapper, uh, production facility there now. So, um, we, we've come, we've come a long way since 2003. So, but we still have our first farm that we, you know, that we leased and we still have the first three farm implements, uh, that we hooked up to oxen, uh, to use. And, uh, yeah, so what we look, we, we have, we have a foot firmly planted in the past, right. With heritage and, and the, the correct way to do things and, and remembering where you came from. But we also have a foot planted in the future um, to hopefully continue to be able, you know, despite FDA, uh, however that works, you know, and cigar taxes and and all that, that, that avalanche of stuff um, right. that's hanging above us. But, uh, you know, we look, we want to we want to be creative and we want to bring things to market and we we want people to continue smoking uh, my father's cigars and and honestly discover my father's cigars. Mm. And, uh, you know, I think we've got, uh, we've, we've got approachable, uh, strength levels and we've got approachable price points and, uh, you know, with strategic partners like you, you, you know, and, and cigars and more and, and the Vitola fine cigars family that like it, we're, we're solid. And, you know, thank you guys for being Indeed. a partner with us. We, we really, really appreciate it. Mm. Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Very, very good. Um, and uh, I will, uh, uh, I will encourage folks to who's talking about the Labuju earlier um, to to grab that. Uh, that is one of the finest. Holy moly! That is a great cigar, man. Good night. Just a dark, jet dark wrapper, almost obscuro. My God, it is, it is good. Uh, they they knocked out the park with that one. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It, it, beautiful cigar um and that being also uh, uh i think that one was a cigar of the year oh my heavens how long ago uh, Eric? uh 2015 that was 15 a, yeah, so, yeah, yeah thanks yeah no i, I look to totally and complete like two cigar of the years within mm -hmm. within three years um right. what what an honor right and, and 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 what a validation for the garcia family no um you know, it, it's um, and at that time, the the ladies you got a 97 out of a out of a hundred rating by them, mm -hmm. which was ridiculously high. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and the price point, that, the, the price point on that is amazing too. Just FYI, I, mean, yeah. just <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. So. Uh, look, it, it, cigars don't have to be expensive to be wonderful, no. right? You, no. you know, just 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 like bourbon doesn't have to be expensive to be wonderful or uh, tequila does though tequila has to be really expensive to be wonderful that's it so. i always speak in my language there <laughs> it is there it is right there yeah so let uh, me make the show go a minute longer because we put you on the spot eric kind of tonight and said this is a cigar we're smoking we didn't let you choose or anything and that was okay. kind of a marketing thing because you can get this cigar at birminghamcigars.com if you're not local to the region and we'll ship it to you so Perfect. you know, if you're out of state or anything, but in this whole my father, you know, grouping of cigars, I didn't even ask you when I met you in the store. What, what one do you? What's your go-to? I'm not going to necessarily say what's your favorite, but what, what one would you say everybody needs to try in the my father family, or are we smoking in that? So. 
the, the, the horrible and beautiful thing about the cigar industry is that your customer wants to know what's new, what's new, what's new. Right. Which is, it's a great conversation to have, right? Like you have to be excited about new product. Um, that's what makes the world go around. Uh, we, we are, we are a consumer nation. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you two. Uh, if you've never smoked the Don Pepino original, come on, smoke it. Come on. That, that cigar started the company. It's called come the original over. for the reason. It's mm. what Pepino smokes every day. Mm. Um, and you know, 2003 was, what is that? 18 years ago. Mm. That was blended 18 years ago. And, and, and we still sell a ton of them. Still rolling. St still, still rolling. Made, rolling. made in, Mi made in Miami, um, uh, by our, by our Cuban rollers. Mm. And it, if you've never tried that cigar, smoke, smoke the blue label because mm. that's what it, it's responsible for everything else. And, uh, y y you know, I don't, I, I'm hesitant to talk about flavors and tasting notes and stuff like that because sure. palates are individual and sure. preferences and tolerances are individual. But that, that cigar, uh, that Corojo Escuro wrapper is a leather bomb and it's just, mm -hmm. it's a magnificent smoke. Yes. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we make that cigar in 10 different sizes, you know, anything from uh, a, a demi task to uh, a 62 ring gauge and everything in between um so don't necessarily focus on what's new uh because if you've never smoked a cigar that's been out since 2003 it's new to you um right. but but that's but you know when you smoke it think think about the mastery of that blend that in 2003 that was blended and of all the trends and all the fads and all the companies that have come and gone, and again, no disrespect to, to any cigar company or oh, any sure. cigar manufacturer, sure. that cigar is still produced today and it still holds up, mm. right? It, 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 with everything that's going on, that blend still holds up. And, and that speaks to me of Pepin's mastery of the craft. Mm. Mm. Um, now my my go, my go to um, is the Don Pepin Cuban Classic, the black the black label. Black um, label, wow. Um, I I I owned a cigar store back in the day, and I remember when that cigar was uh, was released. And excuse me, um, I've smoked one of those every single day since then. Wow, man. I mean, outstanding. I mean, you, you, because the blue label is one of my favorites, you know, the crow wrapper on that right there. I'm a crow freak anyway. Yeah. So, but th that right there was one of my very first ones to smoke of his, um, again, close to 20 years ago. And I'd kept my eye on him since. So it, it had been that long since it is, uh, it's been in my blood. So it's, it's, it is one of the, uh, it's, it's one of the key marks of, uh, the cigar industry today. And we'll continue to do so for a long, long time. Um, and, uh, and again, um, we can't thank you enough for being on today. Yeah, it's, it's oh. been wonderful. Man, no, it's, been it's, very it's, good. It, it's been awesome. Thank you guys. I, yeah. I really appreciate this. This was fun. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Hey Eric, uh, in probably about the next week or two, we're going to be, uh, we're probably, we'll probably be doing, uh, some of the Tatawahe stuff or as, as, as Devin would say, Tatahoogee stuff. Tatahoogee. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so Not the Wate. Uh, uh, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> I had anyway. to throw that in there. I'm sorry. That was a, yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah. I remember when people couldn't pronounce Tatawai. I know, right? Yeah. 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 And when I first got a hold of the band, I said, is that a, is that a J or an I? What is that? What is it? But I smoked it and I said, okay, well, whatever it is, I'm going back to it. <laughs> it's you know? delicious. I was waiting for it to come out in Braille, you know? Yeah. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll figure it out, you know? No, man. Look, I, I, so I smoke in a bubble, right? Like uh, I, I'm, I, I, I smoke our stuff. Uh, when I, when I don't smoke our stuff, I smoke our factory. 
and uh, the Tatawahe and, and Atelier stuff. Yes, uh, sir. Is uh, some of some of my favorites. So, mm. yeah, man, yeah. yeah, the black label and brown label of, the, of those right there are just outstanding. They're very good. That's and uh, man, La, La Riqueza, are you yes. kidding me? Holy mm. mackerel! Come on, come on. Come so, on. Um, the um, um, and and one more footnote here. Uh, the hardcore cigar guys, just for those that uh, are not familiar with um, uh, with how foundational the my father as well as the Garcia brand is, the hardcore cigar smokers they concentrate on what Pepin and what Johnson is coming out with. They concentrate on that stuff. So that shows you alone that that particular company knows what they are doing, you know. So there's, I just want to add the that. There's almost for that, right? Like yeah, like really. Imitation, flattery, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, something. something like <laughs> yeah, that. No, Accolades, I, no, awards. No, yeah, some of that comes to mind, you know. Look, we, 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 we've been blessed, and, and we've been blessed with a family who has an incredible work ethic and has a uh, – relationship uh with tobacco that's that's second to none and yeah. um you know smoke and smoke often right like right, right <laughs> on absolutely there yeah. it is yeah well this has been wonderful mm. uh, again thank you mr eric for joining us today um we look we should do this again sometime <laughs> I, i'm down I'm, I'm down we could let's perfect whenever you guys Excellent. want me back yeah yeah, I mean, Excellent, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's just you and me, Gary. I mean, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe hey. yeah. You, and, you and John. That's get okay. John I'm going to get Devin an, an, an urban Spanish uh, dictionary is what I'm going to do. We're gonna, we're gonna you know, you know I lessons. love you, Devin. There you go, buddy. There you are, Dev. There it is, buddy. Uh, so. Thank you guys so much. This was This was awesome. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming on, spending your time with us. I know that you could have spent an hour with us uh, in more ways than what you are now. So we really appreciate your time on this right here. We'll, uh, this is an icon Honored for us. It Honored sure is. To do it. Yeah. To do and you're a first, you are our first um, uh, guest. guest. Yeah. Yes. You're our first guest on the, uh, on our new show here. And man, that's, that's, yeah. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah. There you are. So suck it, Rob Nett. <laughs> ah, yes, ah, yes. Hey, you dude. have made the climb he to the Mount Everest it. of smoking. Oh man, man just that's now. killing him too. He just oh. peaked the top. Of, oh top man, of this right we're going to send him a link of this tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's going to drop in his mailbox. Yes, Jason <laughs> Robnett is one of my favorite people. He's good people, isn't he? Yeah. He yeah, is. He is. <laughs> uh, look what what an amazing industry, right? That like. <laughs> I get to smoke cigars and have conversations with some mm -hmm. of the best people on the face of, of the planet. Uh, and, and look, that's, that's what drew me to cigar stores. Well, 29 years ago yep. when I was yep. legal to go into cigar stores, but you know, again, smoking, smoking for 32 years, the, the, the microcosm of, mm -hmm. of people that you find and the shoulders of giants that you can, that you can stand on. Right. Uh, in a cigar store, um, top notch, right? Second to none. Um, what an amazing experience! Mm -hmm. And uh, y y you know, you got you guys have got you, you guys have got some beautiful locations. You've got beautiful customers, um, and y y keep doing what you're doing, and we'll keep doing what we're doing. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. Right that sounds uh, that sounds that sounds good. That was a very good. Uh, that was a it was a very good dynamic on what you just put on right there because that's what brought me into it right. is is the people when I walked into this cigar, too. and I seen the uh, they were having a show with the shop that I was going to and it was you know I don't know who it was but I saw all these people in there and they just you know and, and you just go up to anybody and just start talking to them it was awesome sure that was I said oh done done yeah and, and look the, it's the craziest thing because the cigar becomes secondary. Right. right. Like yeah. it, it, You're right. It, it, what, yeah. it what pulls you it, it's what pulls you in, mm -hmm. but it becomes secondary or tertiary to, to the experience, the camaraderie, the friendship and right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's friggin yeah, amazing. It did it, it, and it turns into an experience, is it what really it does. Is. And right. that's where that's where all of us uh sort of I think that that's our common foundation is that it turned into an experience and now it's it's grown. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 You know, and it, it look, it doesn't matter 
what job you have doesn't matter right. what educate level of education what 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 your bank account what you right. drive uh, right. because guess what cigars don't care right the tobacco right. doesn't right. care yeah. right yeah. right yeah, and it's like, true like that's that's the craziest thing to me and and mm. you know not to get philosophical uh, which is a good multisyllabic word Devin by nice. the way yeah. um, <laughs> We'll teach that to Devin later. Keep okay, going. Okay, yeah, we'll just break it down. Yeah, um, you go. Syllables. Mm. It, like this, this has been with me in every friendship for the last thirty-two years. It's been yep. me, been with me uh, at every high point and low point in my life. Yep. And you know what the education that I've been able to get in cigar stores, you mm. know, first as a consumer and, and then as an owner, um, right. man, like join the CRA and start smoking and fight, fight for this every single day. Right on. Every That's single right day. On. Right on. Touché. Um, Very good. Very good. So, all right. I'll, st I'll stop talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thank you, You're uh, good, man. John, uh, for, mm doing what you do behind the computer. Uh, thank you, Gary. Hello. Yes, uh, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Eric. My pleasure. And thank you. Thank you, guys. We'll see you out. guys on the next exciting adventure of Smoking Underground. And remember, to smoke is human, but to smoke a cigar is divine. Indeed. Y'all have a good night. Enjoy your week and think about us.